capital money messaging, basically taking someone that just followed you into building a relationship with them. So what I used to do, for example, we touched upon this, just not seeing it as a transaction was like, Hey, Dan, thanks for the follow. Um, you know, I have this package, this package, and this package, which are you interested in? Instead of, Hey, Dan, where are you from? Thanks for the follow and support. Um, let me know if there's anything I, I can do for you or what goals that you may need some help with. Is there certain things, because I know you talk a lot about like high ticket items and you teach coaches how to sell high ticket items. Explain that to me. What does that mean? So high ticket um, is kind of a general frame, but I say really anything $1,500 and up that, you know, your average Joe would say that's a sizable investment. Um, would be considered high ticket. And so it's one thing selling a package for two personal training sessions that are 50 bucks each that total is 100. It's another thing selling a $3,000 program across a span of three months and getting someone to buy into your process and invest that much money with you. And same thing for business consulting. Um, hey, like I'm going to make this sizable investment and, you know, uh, I hope that I can make the money back within within the time frame. So high ticket, Really, fifteen hundred and up is is what I say over three, six, twelve month span. So, give us a couple of ideas. I mean, for somebody that doesn't understand sales, maybe they're getting, they're maybe they're new in sales. They're trying to learn sales. They're trying to get great at sales. What are some of the things that you've learned as far as psychologically to get more people to say yes? Ooh, that's a loaded question. Um, so I think the first, so I'm thinking of day one, me versus right now. Um, I think the biggest thing I had to do was listen. I was kind of putting words in people's mouths and um, not doing a very good job of listening. And I just wanted to talk, talk, talk. Um, sales, I, I call it service calls. Um, it's all about listening to what the prospect needs and what they're telling you. And can you ethically provide them quality service is going to take them from A to Z. And you don't know that if you're just talking the whole time. Um, the second thing I really learned was from Jordan Belfort um, sales school was tonality and kind of matching the tonality. So I use this as an example. If you're speaking to like a Tony Soprano kind of guy and he's talking in that, you know, that way that Tony Soprano talks, you know, your guy from Staten Island, New York, you can kind of get in that mode with him, right? Shoot the shoot the crap, if you will, you know, talk like an Italian American. Make sure that it's he kind of sees a reflection of himself. It'll be much easier to be relatable to that person and get buy-in from them on the other side of the of the call. Good, good, good advice, man. I like that. Uh Tony Robbins called it mirroring. Yes. And uh, yeah, so that's uh, that, that's really cool. You, you talk about money messaging a lot. What, what does that mean? So essentially getting down in the DMs is, is what I say. So money messaging, basically taking someone that just followed you into building a relationship with them. So what I used to do, for example, we touched upon this, just not seeing it as a transaction was like, hey, Dan, thanks for the follow. Um, you know, I have this package, this package, and this package, which are you interested in? Instead of, hey, Dan, where are you from? Thanks for the follow and support. Um, let me know if there's anything I, I can do for you or what goals that you may need some help with. And so it's taking a new follower into somebody that you can solve a problem for and have them essentially foaming at the mouth, wanting more information about your services at the end of that messaging conversation, which then would lead into the sales call. So how, how important is like getting down into those DMs? Because I mean, people, people post on social media all the time. Now, I think they forget that there's a whole nother step and the whole nother step is engagement and building relationships with these people. Cause I mean, it's, it's a whole new world. Let's be honest, right? I've, I've been in business for over 25 years, man. I mean, this is a whole new world where you're, you know, most of us are used to building human relationships, you know, meet somebody at the coffee shop, you meet somebody, you know, at for dinner or breakfast, or you do a whatever. Now we're doing zooms, you know, you're doing zoom calls, and you're building relationships off of zoom, you're like we were talking about before, you're uh, you know, providing a lot of value to people online. Now, the next step, though, is really that engagement and that, that creating that uh, relationship with these people. So uh, how important is it to engage with your audience? So much. Like I, I was talking to someone on, on the other 
you know, on zoom the other day and they have million something followers and I'm asking where they're at in business and just trying to kind of see where, where they're at and how I can help. And I was shocked. She goes, I'm, I'm making about three grand a month. And like my jaw dropped. I'm like, holy moly, you're making three grand a month. You have millions of followers, hundreds of thousands of likes on your stuff. That's someone who just has a bunch of eyeballs, but doesn't know how to turn eyeballs into clients. And so that's like a prime example of just posting and not having the businessy side of it. I also know people with 2000 followers um, that are making well over five figures a month, right? Um, so it's building trust in the sense of, yeah, someone comes and views your page, but they're never going to reach out to you for help. So it's about building a community around your supporters, I think is the most important part of having social media. And the future of online uh, sales coaching. I mean, is this, is this something that you think is here to stay? It's not going anywhere. I mean, people are going to, I mean, do you think we're going to be using zoom forever? Or do you think we're going to be using this technology, social media? Do you think it's really going away? I don't think it's going anywhere, man, especially with, with AI. I mean, people are inherently lazy. So if I can talk to you and I'll have to fly to Newport, um, this is a much, much easier way to do it. Um, and much more efficient. Um, you know, not to say that this should ever replace the coffee shops and that kind of stuff. Cause I think obviously human to human interaction has its place and is amazing. Um, I just think more efficiently, um, for efficient reasons, you know, zoom and this social media is just going to help businesses grow and grow, especially as more and more AI gets rolled out. If you like this video and you want to watch another one, click right here.